Hello. All right. We've just started scratching the surface of what Node.js is and what it can be used for. We know that it's a runtime for JavaScript that's built on Chrome's V8 JavaScript engine, which it uses to understand JavaScript and give instructions to the computer. But we could talk all we want about Node and what it can do for us. And without actually using it and seeing it in action, we're not going to fully understand it. So let's get Node set up on our computers and actually write our first Node program. From there, we can work backwards and see how does it work? What's the architecture of it? Why do we use it? and really dive deep into what Node is underneath it all. If we go to the official Node.js website at nodejs.org in our browser, we're immediately shown two download options for our operating system. The browser is detecting which operating system we're using and giving us the two best options. We now have a choice between the LTS version and the current version. You see, Node.js has been around for quite a while, but it's still changing. It's still being updated and getting better. If you wanted to stay with the latest, greatest features and updates with a slightly larger risk of more bugs and instability, you can go for the current active version here, whatever it is when you're watching this video. But you can see that the recommended version for most users over here is the LTS or long-term support version of Node. This means that the Node developers are guaranteeing that they will maintain and support this version of Node. So if we're working with real life production systems, we want the extra stability and guarantees that we get with a long-term support version. And because of that, for this course, I recommend this LTS version right here. We can also go to the downloads page and see that there are plenty of options here to install Node for every operating system. There's installers for Windows and Mac OS. There's Linux binaries and an option to install from source code. If instead you prefer installing Node using a package manager or an installer for your operating system that allows you to install packages like Node, you can scroll down to the installing Node.js via package manager option, which has instructions for pretty much any distribution of Linux you can think of, as well as alternative options for Mac OS and Windows. For example, using Homebrew for Mac OS or using a package manager like Chocolatey or Scoop for Windows over here. Finally, there's this option over here to install using NVM or the Node Version Manager, which is a program that allows you to have multiple versions of Node installed at the same time and switch back and forth between them. This is for when you're working at a large company with multiple teams using different development environments that you need to switch back and forth from. So there's plenty of options, but the simplest way and the way that I recommend is to download the LTS installer for your operating system. And since I'm on a Mac, I'm going to download the macOS installer and then open it. Now I can follow through the steps of the installer, agreeing to the license, and I might need to put in my password to give it permission to install. All right, there we go. We've installed Node. That's awesome.
Now I'm going to open up our terminal. If you're on Windows, you might want to use PowerShell. And if you're on Mac or Linux, your default terminal is all you need. Because we've installed Node, we can now type in the Node command, and we can pass in this dash dash version flag after the Node command, or Node dash V for short. And if the version of Node that we get back that's been installed on our system matches the version that we selected from the website, we're good to go. We can also run Node without the version flag and type in some JavaScript code, like 2 plus 2 or woo plus who, and it will be executed by the Node.js runtime. Now we could exit from Node by typing dot exit and pressing enter, or by pressing control C twice, which will put us back into our terminal. Awesome. So let's get Node installed and start diving into the fun stuff.